let me show you how you can improve your website speed almost instantly with a WordPress plugin. This one is called Compressed X and it's free. So let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Compressed X and you can download it right now completely free on your WordPress site. The idea is to convert your images to WebP or AV1F. This is going to reduce the size. It's going to almost look the same and it's going to load even quicker. So that means that you're going to get a better SEO score because it's going to be optimized. All right. So download it right now on your WordPress site and start running it right away. Now, this is my demo site right now. It's a hotel site where I have some images available right here and I'm getting some horrible scores right here. This is my current page score of 63, which is um, really bad, especially for mobile and desktop. I'm getting 88, which should be easier to accomplish almost a 100 percent because it's easier on desktop. But 63 on mobile is really bad. And reason for this is because it's taking longer to load. The images are not in the format that they want. So you can see here, surf images in next gen format. That means that they want it in WebP or AV1F, right? And in terms of JT metrics, I'm also getting some really low, slow loading times. And you can see here the waterfall. Let's go ahead and find the images and they should be around here. Here it is. Okay, so we got some images that are loading slowly. You can see that they have a longer load time. And that's due to the images not being optimized. All right. Now, in this case, some of the images are loaded in from the template, which they do optimize it. And some of them were uploaded by me, which are some of the ones available right here. Um, WordPress does do some amount of compression automatically, but it's still not enough. And it's not converting it into a next gen format. So for that, we're going to use Compress X, which is installed right now on my WordPress site. I haven't run this, so it's a brand new install and you'll find that option right here. Now, if you want to install the plugin, go to plugins, add new, search for Compress X and activate it. It's, it's free, right? So you can see here I'm on the free version. So what I want to do is enable to convert the images as soon as I upload them. So if I create a blog post, a new page, etc., this will automatically do the conversion for me. All right. And then I have the process option here so I can do JD and Magic X. Now, do check out this question mark to decide what you want to use. In this case, this would be the best option because you'll have other options available due to this selection. All right. Now, these are the pro options, which I won't enable now. And then we have the compression level. Looseless means that it's hardly going to do any compression or changes at all. This would be a great option for photographers or maybe jewelry where you need to really zoom in and view things or people who are sharing images to sell or something like that. You don't want to compress it more, right? Now, if you don't care about the quality loss, it's going to be minimal. But if you don't care, check out Lucy. All right, so check. Let's like that one right now for this purpose. And we're not going to start the bulk, bulk processing because we're going to check out the rest of the settings. So we got general settings. You can use rewrite tool or picture tag. Uh, be aware that depending on your access to the server, this might not work. So you do select the other one, right? Then you have do not convert PNG images. So if you want to select that on, go ahead and tick these on. In this case, I'll leave it as it is. Then we have the remove excess data. Now, be aware that you do need to be on the a match jig, right? So you can see here I'm using the magic. If not, I wouldn't be able to tick this on. It, it, it wouldn't even work, right? Then you got the parameters of processing images. So by default, it's five. I'm going to leave it as it is. And then we have the automatic removal of files in the output formats that are larger than the original ones. I'm going to turn this off. Why am I going to do this? Because even if it changes it to AB1F or WebP, and if it's larger, larger than the original file, it's going to remove it. And in this case, we want to keep it because we want to use that new gen format, even if it's a bit bigger, right? So it's rarely that this is going to happen, but it might happen, right? Then we have the auto enable resize. Again, if this was a site for photographers or people who really need a lot of quality, leave this as much as you want. For example, the image that you're going to take is 3,500 and you want to keep that size, uh, change this right here, right? Or remove the auto resize image. In this case, we want to really optimize. So we're going to go to 1,500. So if it's bigger than that, it's going to resize it and it's going to improve the speed by loading it quicker, right? Then we also have the option to remove the header always set to cache control private. I'll leave that uh, off. Let's go ahead and save this and go to the next settings. Here we go. Then we have to choose the thumbnail size you want to process. So if you have a, a large amount of images, maybe this is an old site where you have a classified ad site and there's like 500,000 images. Maybe you want to skip the smaller ones and just do the original 
So it's up to you if you want to set all these on or off. I am going to leave them on for this purpose since I don't have a lot of images, but it will depend if you want to do them all. All right. Then we have the excluded folder. So if you want to exclude folders from being optimized, that is possible. Or if you want to optimize custom folders, that is also possible too. All right. So we are good to go. But if you want to delete the generated images, go ahead and type in delete here. All right. So let's go ahead. We are going to choose the Lucy for this case, and we're going to start the bulk processing. Okay. So this will take a few minutes, depending on the amount of images, but let's wait and see the results. All right. There we go. It just finished running the bulk processing and it completely turned all the images into WebP. Now, I also forgot to mention that if you want to change it to AB1F, that is possible too. And it's actually even more recommended because it's a, a better output that you're going to get. It's going to be more compressed and it's going to give you better quality. The thing is that it will take a little bit more resources. So if you have a lot of images, again, if it's a classified ad side or something that has a ton of images, this will take a bit longer. So do take your considerations for that. Right now, there's also an option for CDN integration. So if you are using, for example, Cloudflare, go ahead and add these details. In my case, I am using it and I can generate all of this and it's going to help me via CompressX use the CDN. So take advantage of it from Cloudflare inside of here. And again, this is also free for me to use in CompressX. So definitely install CompressX right now on your WordPress site so you can start compressing and converting your images right away. Plus, it's free. So link in the description in case you want to check it out. And that is a wrap.